Wouldn't it be great if you could transport your physical movements into the metaverse? When you look someone in the eye, you could really make eye contact. When you frown, the person with whom you're talking would see your reaction. When you're playing games, you could really dodge those targets that are headed your way. Hello, my name is Kirk Barker, and my preferred pronouns are he and him. I'm a product manager responsible for the Movement SDK, which is part of the Presence platform. The Presence platform is a collection of SDKs and APIs that provide developers with AI, machine perception, graphics, and audio capabilities to build immersive experiences that blend the physical and virtual worlds and help people connect with each other. When paired with MetaQuest devices, Presence Platform empowers developers to innovate and unlock new use cases with mixed reality, social presence, and interactions. Today, we announced the availability of the Movement SDK, which translates your physical movements using face tracking, eye tracking, and body tracking into the metaverse. These improved capabilities enable developers to build enhanced social presence experiences. For instance, in the past, your face tracking could only rely upon audio cues. However, with new sensor technology in the MetaQuest Pro, we can now reflect silent facial movements like smiling, frowning, or even looking surprised. These features bring your character models to life, allowing you to have a nuanced conversation in a VR experience. Using these abstracted signals, developers can animate characters with social presence or provide features beyond character embodiment. One might use face blend shapes to detect if the user is relaxed, eye gaze to determine areas of interest or to improve targeting in a shooting game, or body tracking to animate a character in an action game. We are sure that there are hundreds of use cases that will be supported by our innovative developers. The APIs contained in the Movement SDK will be supported on Quest 2, Quest Pro, and future device with appropriate sensors. We are also publishing these APIs as fully documented open XR extensions. Developers can write once and get the best possible results provided by the sensors available on the device on which the app is running. Body tracking is supported across all the Quest family of devices, while face tracking and eye tracking are only supported on Quest Pro. Later in this presentation, we will introduce you to two developer partners, ShapesXR and Arthur Technology. They are planning to use face tracking, eye tracking, and body tracking to bring value to their customers. We will also show you a few internally created examples to demonstrate these capabilities. Now, the first step in translating the physical you into the metaverse is representing your body movements in the best possible quality given the limitation of the sensors provided by the device. To explain how the Movement SDK represents body movement, I would like to introduce my colleague, Vibor Saxena. Hi, my name is Vibor Saxena, and my mission is to help you bring bodies into this embodied internet that we call the metaverse. And today, I am pleased to announce the release of Meta's body tracking. This is the same tracking that drives Meta's own avatars that you see in Horizon or workrooms, and we've honed it over the years to feel and look really natural. And now, we are releasing the same underlying technology to all our developers. Our focus has been to provide you an easy API that works right out of the box for rich social applications. Body language is a huge part of social experience. And seeing the character body act in a way that a human doesn't totally breaks the immersion of the experience. So we used a large data set of real human motions to learn and correct the errors that are commonly seen with inverse kinematic or IK based approaches. All of the clips that you saw above were taken with simple output from a body tracking model and feeding it directly into a character with no complicated tuning or IK constraints. In addition to creating a robust solution with natural movement, we wanted to make it very easy for you to be able to add body tracking to your apps. And so we've added some important capabilities to our API. 
these are first our api works both when the user is using controllers or just their hands and we provide the full simulated upper body skeleton including hands in both these cases second we also automatically take care of cases when user puts down their controllers and start using their hands without any additional logic or handling for the developer and finally our api works across across metaquest pro metaquest 2 and future metaquest vr devices new improvements to body tracking in the coming years will be available through the same api so you can be sure that you will continue getting the best body tracking technology from meta without having to switch to a different interface we are excited to bring these capabilities to you and working hard to make body tracking much better in the years to come we can't wait to see how your users move their bodies in this embodied internet My colleague Nick will now describe natural expression tracking and face tracking capabilities. Thank you. Hi, my name is Nick Ontiveros. My preferred pronouns are he/him, and I am a product manager at Meta, focused on social presence. Today, I'm excited to introduce you to face tracking and eye tracking, two of the many new innovations that will be available through MetaQuest Pro. At Meta, we believe that social presence is a crucial building block of the embodied internet. We want our users in VR to feel like they are having a face-to-face -face interaction with each other, and the introduction of face tracking and eye tracking is a major part of that vision. Here, let me show you. That's better. As you can see, my character is set up to reflect my real face, eye, and body movements. As you'd expect from the MetaQuest 2, you can see my mouth move while I'm speaking, and I can make eye contact with you, but now I can also do things like smile. look surprised or even look disgusted face and eye tracking doesn't just benefit the audience it also benefits the speaker so much in human expression is nonverbal with face and eye tracking i can tell when my audience is listening to me because they're making eye contact and looking focused i can also tell when someone looks like they want to ask a question now let me tell you a little more about how it all works To give my character the capability to mimic my authentic gestures and expressions, we added a lot of new technology to MetaQuest Pro. Inside the headset, there are five IR sensors directed towards the face. Three sensors pointed towards the eyes and upper face, and two pointed towards the lower face. Face tracking is driven by an ML model, which allows the MetaQuest Pro to track a wide range of facial movements. While our users will want their avatars to appear expressive, It's also important that they feel natural, and we hope that developers building embodied characters on top of face tracking will feel the same. For this reason, the signals that we output through the movement SDK represent fact-based linear blend shapes, a series of zeros and one values that correspond with facial movements, like when you scrunch your nose or fur your eyebrow. These signals make it easy for a developer to preserve the semantic meaning of the user's original movement when mapping signals from the face tracking API to their own character rig. whether that character is human like or perhaps even something more fantastical we can't wait to see what creative ways that you will use face tracking and eye tracking to improve social presence in vr with that i'll hand it back to kirk to talk more about social presence since social presence is visible and easy to demonstrate i'd like to take you through a short demo With the introduction of the Movement SDK, we are able to support social presence for third-party character embodiment. Working with our artist, we created an alien character that we call Aura. Hey Aura. Hey, hey Aura, could you wink for us? Aura, do you remember that joke I told you last week? Hey, uh, so you know, Aura recently had a birthday. Hey, Aura, can you show us how you blew out that birthday cake? As you can see, the facial movements, skin tones, and eye movements are used to make her socially engaging. In addition to the facial movements, the blend shapes can also trigger other actions. For instance, the marking on her hair lights up when she's happy. Now this is a very important social clue on her planet. 
Sometimes she will also flare her hair out when she's angry. But you know what? You don't want to be there when that happens. Of course, we can also support high-fidelity AAA game characters. The following is a demonstration of a high-fidelity character using both body tracking and the social presence features. The facial scans for the blend shapes were provided by an external vendor with no proprietary equipment or rigging for capture. As you can see, these are translating Nick into a high-fidelity character who is very believable and natural. Both Aura and the High Fidelity character are provided as samples and are downloadable from GitHub starting this month. You are free to look behind the scenes and see how we implemented the retargeting and rig mapping to get these embodied characters to work. Our documentation also provides guidance and best practices in mapping to different embodied characters. I'd like you to hear from some of our developers. The next presentation is from Inga, who is CEO of Shapes XR. She will describe how they use the Movement SDK. Virtual reality technology has unlocked entirely new ways to create and collaborate in 3D. At Shapes XR, we've harnessed this opportunity and built a tool that gives creators superpowers. Hi, my name is Inga Petraevska, and I'm CEO of Shapes XR. I'm here today with our product designer, Michael Markman, to show you some of the capabilities of the Shapes XR platform and how we have integrated the Movement SDK. Shapes XR makes 3D design easy and intuitive. In Shapes XR, designers can rapidly prototype their spatial ideas and share them with stakeholders, all in VR, all without any coding skills. Teams can work together in a 3D space and build VR, AR, and mixed reality applications. MetaQuest Pro enhanced social presence makes collaboration more immersive and teams feel more connected in shapes. As product designers, we don't know how real people will interact with the interfaces we make. This is why designers prototype and test their work extensively before development. Previously, the workflow was to create a prototype and then send it out for user testing. Now, the prototype can be created and user tests can be conducted entirely in shapes. These tests can be observed directly or recorded for later review. By observing our users' behavior, designers can understand if UI elements are discoverable and intuitive. Specifically, these observations allow us to discover friction or choke points in the user flow. Early user testing allows teams to more quickly iterate and make better informed design decisions for their products. With MetaQuest Pro eye tracking, we can now get much deeper insights into user behavior from these tests. If a user has agreed to provide this information for testing our designs, by following the user's gaze, designers can now understand how users interpreted their interfaces and what exactly grabbed their attention. In this video, the reviewer can see where the user has focused attention by the heat map shown in green. By iterating more in design, teams are able to save tremendous time in development, as well as improve the quality of their final experience. Finally, I'd like to introduce you to Nick Traber, who is head of product at Arthur Technology, to describe their use of the Movement SDK. Hi, I'm Nick, head of product at Arthur Technologies. We focus on spatial enterprise collaboration, enabling users to meet, collaborate, and manage their work in a fully digital office that feels like you are physically together. This demands pioneering on two dimensions, presence and productivity. Until now, presence in Arthur had a hard ceiling. We built a system that could recreate faces and outfits reasonably well, but nonverbal communication and expressions never fully translated. MetaQuest Pro and the Movement SDK allowed us to break through that ceiling and offer a much more personal and people-centric experience. With face tracking, we get to see a much more realistic reading of others in a meeting. Are they smiling, showing approval or confusion, or losing attention throughout a session? With body tracking, we get a much more lifelike feeling of presence to another. Gesturing, pointing, and even posture make for a much more realistic interaction with others. 
For us, this opens the door for many more human-centric use cases. Being able to empathize with training participants who are struggling with a task, seeing a client's reaction to a pitch in a sales meeting, or warming up to a colleague in an icebreaker exercise. This is a significant step forward for us, and it widens the human aspect of our product. The level of realism now enabled through MetaQuest Pro and the Movement SDK helps our users be significantly more effective during workshops and fosters collaboration. Ultimately, bringing us closer to our mission of allowing humans to work together, independent of their physical location or capabilities. Thank you. I hope you have enjoyed this presentation and seeing the demos and testimonials of these innovative developers. I further hope we've gotten you excited about the possibilities and that now you're thinking of all the cool things that you could do with your app by enabling eye tracking, face tracking, and body tracking. Please take some time to review some of the other sessions and have a great day.